so I got one of these Explore telescopic carbon fiber masks from Hamvention. And if you haven't seen a bunch of videos on YouTube, you're missing out because I think everybody has done a video on this. But what I'm gonna do is typically there's some things that I need to add to this mask to make it perfect. It's not perfect right now, but it will be. The two things that I need to add are some supports to make this a independent supportable tripod or mast with uh, some tripod uh, legs. Um, when I say legs, I really mean whenever you can put this in a vertical situation and uh, take some guy ropes and stake this to the ground and make this self-supporting. And then also this cap, which is great, it pulls the, the end out, but this thing will get lost. I will lose this somewhere on a summit, somewhere in a park. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically attach this to this with some cords so it never gets lost. What I'm going to use is this Marlowe throw line. And this stuff is great. Um, I found this, I'm not really sure why I found this, but I will put a link to this. This is what I used for my throw line. And I'm going to use this as my connection points and also to wrap this around to secure those, those, uh, those guy points. What I'm gonna do is I am going to use my hot glue gun to basically secure them first, and then I'm gonna wrap this thing with uh, this cord. So stick around, you'll see what I'm doing. So the first one, you know, it needs to be 120 degrees out, right? So the first one's gonna go here, and then I need to go about, uh, what is that? So what is 360, 120 degrees out, right? So the next one probably needs to be somewhere around here. Is this thing gonna mark? And then the next one needs to be probably somewhere around here. Yeah, that looks good. Doesn't have to be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small loop, probably about, I don't know, this size or so. Let's see how long that is. That is... That's gonna be, let's just make it six inches. So let me get a knife. And off camera here, I am cutting six inches. So that's the first one. Actually, I probably need to get a pair of scissors. That would probably be best. So here's the second one, six inches. And the third, six inches. And these don't need to be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some hot glue. The world's biggest scissors here. That wasn't better at all. It just made a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some loops here that I'm going to hot glue to this thing, we'll see if they actually stick. And I just wanna put, just wanna tack this in place with some hot glue.
Hot glue is your best friend and your worst enemy, all in one. All right, that is pretty good. So let me move to the second, second one. So we're gonna put that right about there. Cords, cords. cords and glue. And here is the third, the third. Glue everywhere. Glue. Glue, I say. Kind of glue all over, but we can clean that up. Not an issue. So the key, I think, is to kind of make sure that all of these are kind of all the same distance. Maybe not. I'm sure somebody in the comments will say, you're an idiot. So those are my three anchor points that I'm going to use. Clean this up a bit. But next, what I want to do is I want to use a longer strip. So let's uh, let's cut this one at. Uh, we'll cut this one at I don't know. Eight inches. Give me a couple more inches here. And this one, I'm going to hot glue. Oh, I've hot glued it to the to the uh, to the table. So this one, I'm going to hot glue to the lid here. And then we're going to hot glue that one to the pole. So we're just going to come down here. And we need to leave enough so we can pull that cap out and get to the end. So that is key. Yep. Okay, so I'll we'll leave a little bit more room. And what I can do is I can maybe just sneak it in beside one of these other ones.
Looks good. A little bit. Uh, so we can push that hot glue up there against it. All right. Oh, it came off the top here. See, this is the problem that we get. Let me make sure that this guy. And if you mess up, you just re-glue it. Doesn't have to be pretty. Because typically all of that hot glue can kind of come off. All these strands can come off to kind of clean it up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do So I'm basically going to wrap this thing with this cord. And what I should do, which I probably should just start a little dab. I'm just going to wrap this thing. Let me see if I can figure out a way to keep this from unrolling. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over itself to make sure that I Secure these tie down points. To the mast. I'm using quite a bit of force here. To get these tight. You don't need to leave much loop here. Just need to leave a little bit. I'll go three or four more wraps.
All right. So then, gonna cut me off. Therefore, I can kind of tie this thing off, which what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of use the last couple of loops here. to tie this thing off with. So then, I think what I'm gonna do, just use a little bit of hot glue. I think I just ran out of hot glue. Nope. To secure this in place. And then I'll snip the rest of this off. And I'll burn that end. And don't touch the hot glue while it's hot. Get some more hot glue here. So there it is. Got my anchor tie down points here. They're nice and secure, yep. And I've got my cap that I'll never, I'll never lose. And this will dang, dangle down. I'll clean that up, but yeah. That is pretty okay by my standards. Got a little cleanup to do, but I uh, wanted to show you guys this. If you wanted to put one of these together, pretty simple. So, hope you learned something. 73.